What's up, Power Fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. In this video, I will discuss the first episode of Power Book 4 Force and some hidden clues. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, let's get straight into episode 1. Just like the first episode of season 1, season 201 also started with a tribute to Liana, and like I said in my last video, Tommy is out for revenge on the Flame family to honor his ex-partner, Liliana. I'ma make whoever killed you pay. Now, Tommy has started this season with a lot of troubles already. He is on the move to right things for Liliana. At the same time, he is focusing on protecting his only family by sending them to a safe place. Now, I like what the writers did with Kate this time around. I couldn't ever imagine Kate seeing Cook and saying no to it. Tommy, I'm not kidding. I'm saying Clank. I'm Keep done. I don't know what you think, but I think that was very dope for the writers to do with Kate. We have seen Kate on drugs all this while and we know what she is like when she is using. This time around, we are going to see the Kate that we've never seen before. Her clean side and how she used to be before starting to use drugs. I also have a feeling the writers are trying to clean up Kate for a major death. You know, she has been one of the OGs from the original Power and it won't be surprising if they set time on her like Sacks. Now, let's say they set time on Kate. Now, if they set time on Kate to die, the best they can do is to make her clean for a while before that. It will be a beautiful thing to see the clean version of Kate in order to appreciate her and her absence than to keep her using drugs till she dies. The fact that she has a grandson now is also significant that the change affects her way of life around her grandson. But well, I'm just thinking, so let me know what you also think in the comment section about this. Now, back to Tommy, aside trying to revenge for Liliana and keep his family safe, he is also trying to focus on the business and becoming the connect. We have seen Tommy work as a distro for people, work under people, work with people as partners, but we are yet to see Tommy as the whole connect of a drug game network. So if you agree with me, I think it's time for Tommy to take the throne and I feel the writers are planning to make that happen. Because we saw Tommy really demonstrating his quest to the throne as the connect. If you cross him, he'll end you. Example is when we saw Chiwi switch side to work for Jenard instead. Tommy didn't waste time to off him at the end. Secondly, we saw how he swept Dahlia off Claudia by asking JP to leak the formula online. Hey JP, I need you to do me a solid. We all remember when JP was put on Dahlia together with the doctor and Liliana, right? Before Tommy put JP on, he asked him how much he knew about science. Tommy had a plan. That was why he made JP study a lot when he was in there at the time. So these two actions from Tommy in the first episode alone should tell you that if you double cross him, he will end you. Now, becoming the connect will not be that easy for him and since it has already been established that his family is his weakness, I feel Tommy will find himself in the middle of choosing between his family and the throne. Why do I say his family is his weakness? The heat around him after Liliana's death made him send his family to safety, then he bought a bar for JP to run. It is all part of his plan to protect his family. Then he agreed to sign d -Mark to work only from home and on his phone, just so that he won't get in any trouble that can distract him. Now, the second reason is how Tommy even rushed to the hospital as soon as he received the call that d -Mark had an infection. So clearly, Tommy has put family first before even the drug business, which is a good thing to do by the way. But when it comes to the business, it's going to slow Tommy down, especially with Diamond, as he realizes that Tommy is protective over his family. Now let's talk about Tommy and his love interest. Tommy met Mireya under some bizarre circumstances to which she thought he was one of her brother's boys. In this season, we are going to be seeing Tommy tailing a lady once again like he did with Harley. Only that this time around, she's a decent type. Now, here is problem number one for Tommy. Tommy has been made in Chicago to be alive. It is just a matter of time for New York to know that Tommy didn't die as they thought. This is a major problem Tommy will have to deal with. And there is the likelihood of Tommy becoming a wanted person. And if this happens... Tommy will have to use a street name to cover his business. Now, if this happens to be the circumstances on top of my head, could Tommy use the name Ghost? Do you think Tommy will use the name Ghost to cover himself? Considering the fact that the writers keep doing wordplay in some of the lines by using the word Ghost. Anyways, let me know what you also think about the feds discovering that Tommy is still a dead man briefing in Chicago. Now, let's talk about Diamond. 
In as much as Tommy has his own problems and issues to deal with, so is Diamond. As it stands now, Diamond's biggest problem is his parole officer who seemed to know a lot of things he shouldn't know and who will be breathing heavily down on Diamond. So if you notice, things are very uptight for Diamond just like Tommy. Now, his new parole officer might seem strict on his first impression, but trust me, some people who seem to take their work too serious like that ends up as dirty as dirt. If this man here can't be bought, then it means every movement of Diamond will be hot and that is bad for business unless he and Tommy decide to take out this officer. Nonetheless, it doesn't mean a new person will not be assigned to him should this man end up dead. As for his relationship, which was ended through a simple test, I don't think it will change a lot for Diamond. But rather, his brother in the picture as we all know him will be a hell of a problem to Diamond. I believe even though Diamond set the ground rules straight with his crew not working with his brother, I still think he has some little spot left for his brother. But then, Diamond has Jenard to deal with as a threat to his life, a competitor, and as a brother. And I think Damo will be affected by some of Jenard's actions, especially as a brother. Which also means that there is a high chance that Diamond could share some consequences of Jenard's actions and troubles. Let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, talking about Jenard, Jenard is the hottest person with a very dangerous enemies. For me, I think he seemed to step on some deadly tools than any other character already. Now, he show up light on Miguel's money and he doesn't have enough product to move to cover it. He also doesn't have a lot of people on his side to even move a lot of weight. That seemed like a suicide for Jenard already. Secondly, he's owing the Serbs their territory, yet he's at war with his own brother. Now, Miguel and the Serbs alone can make life bitter for Jenard. The only thing I see Jenard doing is to reform alliance with his brother before things get worse for him. Because already, Diamond is on Miguel's good side for now with regards to delivery and timelines unlike Jenard. So Jenard's best bet is to form alliance with his brother else he has two dangerous drug dealers to deal with. Let me know what you also think in the comment section about what you think Jenard should do moving forward coupled with the fact that he has disappointed two dangerous people already. Now let's talk about the Flame family. Now Walter of the Flame side has his two children who don't trust him anymore to deal with. That is not all. He has a major issue from Dublin to deal with as well. As if that is enough, Tommy is clocking him and won't waste time to kill him. His cash flow is not even enough to settle the death of the men from Dublin who fought against Tommy in season 1. So clearly, there is trouble in everyone's camp. Now, Walter is promising to get rid of Tommy, which we all know won't happen. If anyone is going to die in this war, then it will be Walter himself or one of his kids. If truly Tommy will avenge Liliana's death, then Claudia's clock is ticking. We might possibly see her as major death in this season because she has nothing more to compete with anyone in this game. Her precious Dahlia is gone. She even killed a doctor who could possibly change things for her in another way. So clearly, Claudia can either join her father now to fight Tommy or she tries something silly and gets herself killed in the process. Let me know your thoughts about everything I said so far and other happenings in episode 1. Also, drop your rating for the first episode so far over 10. I will personally rate this first episode 10 over 10 cuts. It set the tone with circles of troubles in everyone's camp. This means that we will be seeing how every camp will manage to go through their troubles, threats and find resolution to them while aiming at achieving their goals. And trust me, I can't wait to see Tommy becoming the connect in Chicago. Let me know what you also think so far by leaving your comments and thoughts and theories below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share, most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. I'll see you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.